Hey guys, we're filming this segment for DAS. We get a lot of questions about our shock sensor and shock, shock sensor placement. I'm gonna have my one of my lead techs, Corey here, using a high-tech laser pointer show you where we mounted on this car. Ooh, See right there, attached to the plastic heater duct, centralized to the car. Thanks, Corey. Now for a little bit of RTFM. The new master guide has the new DAS programming procedure in it. We've already got the car on, just for filming purposes, and we're gonna move forward with the next few steps. Hold your foot on the brake. Using any First Tech remote, you're gonna get hit lock once, lock twice, lock three times, and the brain should flash the parking lights twice. That'll give you... It'll indicate the, the level of sensitivity right now. We're actually gonna go down one, because it's a little too sensitive. Now it'll reconfirm the level with the number of chirps and parking light flashes. Once we've set our level, that's the pre-warn. That's going to automatically set the primary uh, alarm sensitivity. So both settings are now set. One thing that's important is when you guys are actually testing this sensitivity now, lock the car, make sure all of the windows and doors are closed when you're, when you're doing your final testing. It's going to change the way the impact sensor picks up everything. So we're going to go ahead and uh, film the next setting, uh, actually showing you how it works, and uh, wait for the next segment. Okay, now that we've set our sensitivity level, we're going to go ahead and test it. I've armed the car already to, uh, in the interest of saving time, so we don't have to edit this film too much. The way I personally like to test it, since there are a lot of personal premises out there, is I like to start at the back of the car and move my way around to make sure that it's not too sensitive or it is sensitive enough in other places. So we're going to test for pre-worn right now. Nothing, we hit it a little bit harder. And you'll notice there's a bit of a second of a delay between our impact and our pre-warn. Um, that's the brain processing the information and it's a little less sensitive back here than we normally like, but what it does is it gives us better or more equal sensitivity around the front of the car. And then that way we can, we want to make sure to test all the areas that we want, that could our, our potential uh, entry points for, for thieves. You'll notice that I'm actually hitting the windows. Um, it's been my personal experience in the past that during testing, if you do hit the car too hard and you happen to break something, the windows are a lot less expensive to replace than having body damage repaired. Now that we have full alarm, we've tested all the sensitivity. It's a lot. Now, the longer that it sits, the more sensitive it will get over time, so make sure to uh, accommodate for that when you're setting up your sensitivity level. We're going to move on to the next segment, so stay tuned.